Okay, I think what I'm going to be doing is posting a tutorial on my Etsy shop for a very small fee on how to make this ski slope. Now I'm putting two in this wreath. I'm Robin with Robin's Wreath Wreath and I am so glad you came to join us. See, it's going to be a two slope. We've got two skiers here. We've got a sledder here. All I did was take off his skis and his poles and added a little sled to the bottom of him. I tied them on. I'm going to be listing these in the shop too. So isn't that cute? I have been trying to figure this out for a couple weeks. This is a dream of mine to make it like into a, like an art piece almost. You know what I mean? Like not an art piece, like a, a decoration. And this can go outside or inside. I added some glitter to the um, snow. But yeah, just having a little fun with it. If you wouldn't mind spreading, I'd so appreciate it. Try to get this in a little more here. In the tutorial, I'll show you how to make the um, ski slope. But I just thought it'd be kind of fun and whimsical. Isn't that cute? And these are on there really good. The, um, the gnomes. So they can't fall off. They will stay put during the shake test. There we go. Let's pull that to the back. That way it straddles the wreath base better. There we go. There we go. I actually used some glitter from the Dollar Tree and then I went and sprayed it with this spray mount spray and then just sprinkled it with glitter. You could use, I'm sure, any kind of glue, whatever you want. Okay, so we have a bunch of things we're going to put in the wreath. I've got a bow that I'm going to put up top here. And let these flow down here. I've got one of my signs, Let It Snow, that we're going to add to the wreath over here. And I have a bunch of trees, some balls, and pine cones. I found these at the Dollar Tree, too. I thought these looked really cute. Because I kind of want different textured trees in here. So that was my reasoning behind getting that. I even went and bought this from Sims because I may even add some um, white branches to it. So I have those also. How's everybody doing today? Good? I think I'm going to start out by placing the sign. This is probably not going to be a very long video because I don't have a lot to add to this. I've been working on it all morning, trying to figure out my strategy for my slope which, like I said, I plan on putting that in a tutorial. Now, I don't think I can use my tinsel ties for this because I don't think I'm going to be able to disguise them. But, and I think, oh no. Let me try it. Let me see what we can come up with. I can always cover it with a little 
bow or something. I just feel better when this is, I can work with this better than I can the wire. So. Goes through the wreath better for me. I don't need my needle. I can just thread it through and I like it a lot better. My ribbon kind of matches the sign. My gnomes don't, but they have the same color palette, so we're good with that. Y'all wouldn't mind spreading. I would so appreciate it. Just want this here. I think I'm gonna go up just a little bit higher. Aren't the gnomes cute? They were gnomes from Big Lots. I think last year. Get it in there so good, and then you can't get it out. There we go. So what kind of swag are you working on, Vicki? Christmas? Johnny, those pieces you were working on the other day were beautiful. That was a lot of work. Awesome. Okay. Had a better direct route earlier with this than I am now. I'll get it. Just take me a minute. Oh, cool. I can't wait to see a picture of it. This just does not want to come through. There we go. All right. And I thank you for all your help. I hit my 3,000 followers. Well, it was still a lot of work. It wasn't just uh, a lot involved there. got invited to a craft show and they were like your stuff will sell out I said I don't care I'm not coming I do not want to be out and about in the mall during the holiday season heck I don't even want to go out of my house but I have to so I'd rather not sell a wreath then go and get COVID. So our area has gotten bad again. Hi Brenda, welcome. No, no cracking gap on here, hon. I'm going to post the tutorial on how to make these ski slopes probably in my Etsy shop. No cracking gap here. All right, so we've got our sign on, let it snow. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna take some of this and I wanna
want to put it around here. Let's see. Just want to make it look as white snowy as possible. Ouch. That's a piece we missed. Isn't this looking cute? one up just a little bit more there okay I think I like where these are but I'm going to do a little dry fit in here first before I start gluing that looks about right okay I've got these trees that we're going to add on there what are they called? The bottle, bottle trees. Then I have these. These are Dollar Tree. And I went ahead and I glittered them up too. So we've got a couple of those. Then I'm thinking I want to put some of these on here too. So these came from the Dollar Tree also. And if there's room, because the wreath is brown, I thought I'd add just a little bit of the extra pine cones that we had left over from the other project, just to give it a different texture and color. And then I have some vintage um, Christmas balls that I might add in here. Bottle brush, thank you. Thank you, Brenda. Look at that, isn't that adorable? I made these ski slopes and I attached the, um, the gnomes to it. This was a three ornament set from Big Lots last year. And I took his skis off and I added him to a sled. I still wanna put a piece of rope here. So like he's holding on to the sled as he's gone down the slope. So. Now we're gonna fit in some of these trees. These bottle brush trees came from Sims. These came from Dollar Tree. These came from Dollar Tree. So I wanted a variety of trees just to kinda give it a real like woodsy look. All right, I think I like where these are, so I'm going to go ahead and glue these in. I think I want that about right there. Hi, Joanne. Welcome. If you didn't sign up for my uh, my giveaway. You need to do that. We hit 3,000 followers. So I'm going to be giving away those five signs. So if you didn't sign up yet, you might want to do that. It doesn't matter if you haven't. You need to like the comment, share the comment, and comment on the comment in order to be entered to win. Thank you. That was a that was a, over a year in the making. <laughs> there. Thought that would just give it a little different look over here. So 
let's see where we want to put this is actually called an 8.5 needle pine tree pick even though it looks like a bottle brush so I want to kind of dry fit these in here and see where I'm going to go with those what's nice about them I can glue them down in but then I can bend them back so they sit like they're standing up that's a lot of a lot of work I just kept plugging away see so then it looks like they're kind of on the mountain I want to see where I'm going to put these first. All I did with these, it had a base on it, and I slanted the base, and then I stuck some tinsel tie to it, and then I'm going to glue the tinsel tie in place. Now I'm going to put like a big tree and a little tree there, and... Maybe put this one. Let me put this one in there with that one and then put that one up there. Yes. That will work. So I'm bending it so I can glue it and stick it inward. Because we want them to look like they're on the mountain. This is going to look better than I expected. There we are so far. And then I thought I'd stick some of these in there because they look like snow covered trees. All right, let's get the big one in first. Now this is going to be a not a long one because we already got I already got all that done. It took a while to make the ramp and there's a loose branch. I clipped it. These were in some nice ones. It's kind of almost an oval shape that I got at Sims. The last batch was not very good looking. This is a great batch, very full. See? Grapevine is lending itself very nicely to putting these in here. in a little more there we go now where did I get a little feather hmm. 
Then I think we'll put this one down here with that one. Trim this a little bit. See if we put some of these in here. Not sure if I want to do those or not, but let's see. Maybe I don't know. I mean, this looks like a little tree. kind of like that. Kind of looks like a little pine tree. and maybe we'll only use one pine cone and then let me see what we look like. These are vintage balls, red balls. Now, what's that look like? We need a one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Maybe we need another tree here. Um, 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 um. No. So we kind of have like a, well, let's add it. It just looks pretty. Got to figure out a way to get this to lay down. There. That should hold it. And then glue it. Does it look like a ski slope?
That's getting in the way. Yow. Let me see. Let's put this in first. There. And then let's take this back in. Okay, that one's being stubborn. Stubborn and messy. Yes. You know, I've never done a lot of decorating with bear and ski slopes and stuff like that and i'm really liking the um the snowshoe wreath and stuff like that so probably going to be seeing more of that let's go ahead and take a small piece of this going to use this to get in there further actually let's loop it around the edge of that wire there we go and then let's try it that way that ought to work I'm right stuck near a big branch right here on this wreath base there that's better. Well, let's do the same with this. Hi, Rachel. We're making a ski slope wreath. We're just decorating with the trees. All right, I'm going to have to cut this, jam a piece of it in here, glue it in there like that. Let's cut this because we don't need this anymore. Let's use that to put that in there. Man, these bottle brush trees are full of glitter. Holy cow, you should see my table here. There we go. Add a little glue there. Now let's go up here and work on this one. this wire stick this tinsel tie in there where all this thread came from man some of this in here. Stick the tinsel tie in there until it grabs. Put 
this down in there too. Trying to make this look like, you know, the forest on the ski slope. There, right there. Now watch, I won't be able to get it back in there. There. So it looked like a snowy mountain. That's what I was aiming for. use this piece. Tinsel ties are so versatile. You know they are like my absolute favorite. Stick that down in there. We are looking good coming out way better than I expected so that makes me happy when you put this much work into something you want to sit back and appreciate it there we go now we'll add a little to this and because it's white let's just use a little bit of white tinsel tie couple branches in here you can tie it around and it'll hold really good yes it is going better than I expected Look at that. Now, I think we could stand to put some red in here. Let me just see. Just as an accent color. I already pre-glued them ahead of time. The tinsel ties into it because they are a vintage one and you have to be really careful because they do they do break so look at that oops okay we didn't get enough glue in that one Yes, it needed an extra pop of red because we got so much gray and white going on here. But I think with it on the grapevine, it really looks good. Just trying to make my trees look like they're coming up. All right, now we put on the bow. Now I already went ahead and made the bow let me get rid of some of this glitter here. The puppies now have glitter on them. Because <laughs> I walk from this room out to them and then, boom, they got glitter. Alright. I think I'm going to put my bow right here. 
and I have three short tails that I'm going to put around this way, and then I have three long ones that are going to go down this way. I may just have them go out and under the sign here, and then curl them down below. That's the plan. I'm trying to go through the middle of the grapevine with the tinsel tie so it totally disappears within the wreath. It's just finding the right spot. There's a little hook on this and it's getting stuck. So we're going to cut it. Try it again. This is a really good wreath base. <laughs> Can you tell? really solid. There we go. Got it. Woo! Now what I did was I made five loops with the one and a half inch and I kept the five loops together and I used three different um, three different colors of ribbon here. Now with this one I'm going to twist it because it's a directional one, so I want them to head, look like they're in the right direction. This one I'm going to twist too. So I'm just going to start pulling apart the layers. Like I said, I have three different colors. And someone had asked yesterday about the ribbon, the gingerbread ribbon. I did, I did um, post a picture of the gingerbread ribbon. Now I may need to put something in here. And I have some snowflakes. I could add some exaggerated snowflakes to this also. Just not sure what I'm going to do with these yet. So I may just trim those, or I could make this into a loop. Yeah, I thought it would really, really look nice hanging down here. Like I said, I have some snowflakes, and I think that's the next thing I'm going to add. Like I could even add a snowflake in here if I wanted. Oops, I didn't dovetail. Boy, this one is glitter central. Bottle brush trees and ribbon. And snowflakes and trees. All right, let me move it this way for now. And then I can kind of, too, use that to cover up my, um, my tinsel ties. 
I, when I made the ribbon, I mean the bow, I went ahead and I switched this tail coming down. I actually cut it and turned it around so it's going in the right direction. So let me see. I got to be able to get it through there. I think I'm going to use a small bit of wire to attach it to the tinsel tie. Yes, that's going to work. I can get it out the other end. There we go. And then just kind of grab this and loop it. Tie it around a little. Cut it. Force it back down in. It doesn't go cutting anybody. And then kind of separate them like that. And then we'll take it under. kind of going under. Just not sure how I want it to lay up here. Hi Peggy. Welcome. Doing a one of a kind again. <laughs> My version of a one of a kind. Had a little glue stuck there. Maybe I could just kind of do it like that. Make it kind of outline the sign. I think I like that better. All right. Let's use this. Let's see if I can get this under here. didn't work. All right, I'm going to use a little bit of wire. wanted that on the other side. There we go. Let me reposition these. Because I want that on the bottom. There. That's how we want it. And then let's bury these. I've never heard of bind wire. I've been using tinsel tie throughout here. Let's 
open it a little bit. Pull it down a little bit more. All right. It took a long time to figure out how I was going to do my ski slopes. I've been working on that for a couple weeks, trying different ideas. So to have that now done, I'm happy. All right, now let me get some snowflakes. Um, blah, 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 blah. Also... I have little snowflakes, I have big snowflakes, and I have gigantic snowflakes. <laughs> so, let me see here what we think is going to look good. I've got silver ones, I've got white cookie cutter ones, I've got those tiny ones that we used the other night. That just doesn't look right there. That doesn't look right there. And then I have like these really giant ones, which that doesn't look right there either. So, ruled out those. So, I could put some little ones, a little one there. Or I have these. What do you think? I don't know. I'm, I'm not liking the way this goes around this. So I'm thinking I'm better off just taking it under and pulling it down. Leaving the loop up here. Putting a snowflake to disguise that. Snowflake to disguise that. <laughs> I had you at noon, Kayla. We all know that. I could have just stuck a noom on that wreath. And you would have loved it. Am I right? All right, let me pull this back here because I need to bring this ribbon down underneath the sign. I don't like it trying to fall around the sign. It'll stick out on the side, which is fine. even add a second batch of ribbon here. I was even looking at um, train platforms and such, trying to come up with my ski slope, you know? Like I was trying every DIY I could find to do what I wanted it to do. I think half of this white has to go on one side and half on the other side. So I'll have to fix that. All right. <laughs> hey, Susan. Welcome. 
took um I think I'm gonna put a tutorial in my shop on how to make a ski slope. A lot went into that. Very simple. But I think I need something here. So, I wasn't sure if I put a snowflake there or maybe something red there. Um, I have a couple more balls I could add down here. Let's add two and then you tell me what you think. Here's a big one, a big red one. I don't know, what do you think? What's your suggestions? Or I could just put a small cheater bow there. Thank you, Joanne. See ya. Well, maybe that maybe that would look good. What do you think? Yay or nay to the silver snowflake right there? Or the big white one just gets Brushed out. Boom. Boom. All right. Thank you, Susan. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This one I'm going to cut because I'm just going to make it a small tie up there. There we go. I think I'm going to do the same for these. Cheater bow, cheater bow. Yep. Looking at it from this angle, I think that's exactly what we need. We need to get some of this over here. Some stuck around that white tree. So I may have to find some more. All right. I use that. I use that. And I used this. This was what we used for our um, angels. Start with the black first and let's just use that extra piece in there as a tail I'm just gonna do three loops and I'm gonna have to trim it here and Put the tail, other tail, going the right way. There we go. Because of the direction. Thank you. I am so proud of my ski slope. I'm telling you. That was, that was something to watch. I think I'm going to do the white next and then do the red last. And those are vintage um, balls on there, too. The 
this thing is going to scream retro. And I'm doing like one short and one long. I know you couldn't. I know you could. Get some of our snowflakes out of the way here. Got some tinsetai left. Oh, I am so loving this. I'm sorry, guys. I <laughs> this has just been a project that I just has kept me up at night. What do you want to use? I don't know. Could we use that? No, that won't work. There's sometimes the year that my brain just goes on overdrive and you can't shut it down. And this was one of those projects that I could not shut it down. So I am thrilled with it. And this wreath base is incredible. The last batch I got were kind of thin. Not this one. Do I know? I'm not, I'm, again, I'm not, I'm not trying to boost myself. It's just... To finally see it come to life, that that's just, wow, that's a designer's dream. Let me see this one. Nope. Let me see that one. There we go. Pull that one. Then pull this one. There we go. Yeah, that, that kept me up at night. So I am so thrilled with the outcome. Okay. And you look up, I, I researched all kinds of ski slope wreaths, there isn't any. So I, you know, a lot of times I look at pictures just to get inspiration. I couldn't even find one to get an inspiration. So then it's like, okay, we're going to go back to square one and we're going to come up with our own. And like I said, it kept me awake quite a few nights. <laughs> Story of my life. Yep. Where's that about it? There it is.
All right. I think we're done. Bloop, bloop. What do you think? snoring <laughs> I have to have surgery next week and that keeps me up at night so <laughs> so yeah I don't know that I'll be snoring <laughs> I'll be worrying about that one for sure this needs something right there I don't like that snowflake there so I'm not sure what I want to put there, but I will find something. Maybe a little, maybe a little deer. No, that wouldn't look right. Something's got to go there, and that just isn't doing it. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. That's why I kind of stuck myself in here today and just tuned everything out because sometimes you have to do that. So I think a little bow, just a little red and black there. Thank you. Um, I'll be okay. Definitely. Look. Yes. Yes. See? Sometimes I just have to distract myself. <laughs> right? <laughs> Nanny Dot's my hero. She's going to come take care of my babies for me next Thursday, so. Couldn't, couldn't do it without her, let me tell you. She's awesome. Right, Nanny? It does, it does, and they had me take the bandage off today because I was in such agony, and taking it off caused way more pain than before they put it on. <laughs> so I had to pump myself full of ibuprofen and just distract. So yeah. So it'll be good. It'll all be good. But sometimes you just gotta tune everything out. And that's what I did. Tuned it out. There. That's what it needed. Yes. Yep. There. See? Yeah, then I got a bunch of calls for groomings, and it's like, nope, can't do it. <laughs> Not this week or next week. Ow. <laughs> Nanny Dot needs no backup whatsoever. She is the only one that I trust with my babies. And my dogs just absolutely love her. Right, Nanny? And Nanny is a retired Marine. And we appreciate your service. I don't know. Maybe we'll just put that little... There we go. That's what it needed. Little bow. Thanks, Susan. Yep, there we go. Look at that. Yay! Oh, that feels 
feels so good. <laughs> I'm sorry. It just does. You have no idea how long I've been wanting to do this and how long I've been trying to create it and how long it's been up here and to finally see it here. Yes. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited to pose this one. Just got to straddle this tree here and then we are golden. We're just going to clip some of these. There we go. There we go. That's the way we wanted it. There. All right, we is done, baby. There we go. Nothing coming off of that one. Yeah. All right. I did it. I did it, did it, did it. <laughs> well, I'm going to post a tutorial on how to make the ramps. Very, very easy. Very, very simple. I got yelled at last year because I didn't post the tutorial for my gnome, which has gone viral. So I didn't want to be yelled at again. So I will, I will do it. Doesn't it look pretty? Looks like you're skiing right down the slope. Woo! Right? And sledding. He just needs a little, um, whatchamacallit, thanks Johnny, he just needs a little rope to hold on to his sled. And then I got to cut some of those. There we go. Exactly what I wanted. <sighs> That's a great feeling when something turns out the way you wanted it to turn out. That's just perfect. Yay. <laughs> Thanks, Peggy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, you just have no idea how excited I am for this. Sometimes, I know you guys know, but sometimes people just don't appreciate how much time you have in something. And when you give them the price, it's like, what? well, what this, because you don't want it, it's staying. <laughs> That's my problem. I work so hard on my wreaths, and I fall in love with them, and then I can't part with them. <laughs> Anybody else have that trouble? I know I do. <laughs> All right. Well, I will take a picture of it, and... I will see you all on Monday and Wednesday next week. And if I have time for anything else, I'll work it in. Thank you, Brenda. Yeah, that that was my vision. And this is what um, Lori would call a staple wreath. Because you can put it out for Christmas, but you can also put it out for winter. You know? So, it definitely could go through the seasons. Even, even to uh, Valentine's Day, right? See, Susan knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> all right, you all have a great evening. And thank you for joining me. Thank you for helping me in my business. I hit 3,000. So if you haven't put your name in that post for the drawing, there's only three people on there. Come on. If you don't post, you don't win. All you have to do is comment, like, and share to be entered to win. Five signs I'm giving away. You get to choose which ones you want. 
and I've got six pages of signs listed. Come on, you got Christmas coming up. I will. All right. Have a good evening. Thank you.